welcome to today's video. In today's video I'm going to share with you five tips to take your PowerPoint presentations to the next level. So tip number one, we're all used to seeing the normal boring bulleted lists when we attend presentations but by selecting all of the bulleted items and right clicking we can convert them into something graphically a bit nicer. By selecting convert to smart art I can then go in and pick a diagram type. So I'm going to pick, as this is a life cycle, I'm going to pick the basic cycle. And then by using the design ribbon that then appears with a few presses, I can make it a bit more graphically pleasing. Now tip number two is concerning these diagrams. They're really nice, they're really graphical, but people then may want to animate them. Unfortunately, whilst they're a diagram, you can't animate the individual elements of that diagram, but by going and converting them into shapes, you can then, under the format ribbon, ungroup them, and then you can select the individual elements and give them their own animation. Like so. Tip number three is to do with adding elements that make your presentation look a bit more exciting and give you a bit of a wow factor. Under the insert ribbon in illustrations as well as the standard shapes, icons, diagrams and charts that we had before, we now have this 3D models. Now I'm going to use one of the built in ones but there are plenty of them online that you can download for free. And if I go into the animated ones, these ones, as well as being 3D and can be turned and moved, also physically do something on the screen. So if I now select, as an example, the octopus here, you'll see when I insert that, and it does take a little bit of time for this to insert, but once it's inserted, you'll see that this octopus is actually juggling. So here we go. Now... As I mentioned, because it is a 3D item, we can actually turn it round, we can lift it up, and we can do a top view. Okay, tip number four. Now, under the transitions, we have this new morph transition in the later versions of PowerPoint, and that changes and does a fancy effect as we move from one slide to another. But we can actually use that to effect and do a transition between shapes so as an example I've got my picture here and I want to transition into this at the moment I simply get that picture and then the other one appears now the key to this is if you select the first element under the format picture if you activate the selection pane what you then need to do is name that element and put a couple of exclamation marks at the beginning now it is case sensitive so whatever you name it on the first one you have to name it on the second one exactly the same down to the case so now that I've done that if I add to this the transition of morph you'll see that instead of it just being the boring one disappears, the other one appears, it morphs into the second picture. And the final thing to take your presentations to the next level is to add a video background. Now to do that, under the insert ribbon, if we go to video and online, there are dozens of videos that have been designed to be backdrops to presentations. I've been online and I've downloaded one. So if I go and get the video that I chose and if your video doesn't fill the, the slide expand it so that it does and then what you can do is under the playback ribbon that appears you need to change it from clicking sequence to automatic what I'd also advise you to do is to do the loop until stop as a final element, if you right click on it, you want to then send that to the back. 
so that any text and any other stuff that you've got on your slide will then be visible. So that now if I run this slide, you will see that I've got this video effect. Okay guys, I hope you liked the video. If you did, can you give me a thumbs up? And if you want to see more videos from me, please remember to press subscribe and click that notification bell. That way, when I put a new video out, YouTube will remind you. Thank you for watching guys, and I will see you in the next video.